exactly. Exactly. You know? So at this point, he had changed to make Uganda history, starting in 1986, apparently, according to that book. But so many years ago. As we speak now, there are gross human rights uh, violations that are going on right now. It was important that we look into that. You know, if General Museveni had a nod without questioning human rights violation, then it would be uh, an endorsement that human rights violations are actually a policy here in Uganda. Also, environmental uh, concerns needed to be, you know, taken into account. Okay. In the whole, we built that road, we built now building spouting out the ground. Okay. These are the new countries like Central, uh, like, like, like Equatorial Guinea, countries like, like, like Brunei, which were as poor as Uganda, but once their leaders, their authoritarian leaders, landed their hands on oil, they became the worst dictators, untouchable dictators. Unfortunately, there are people becoming more oppressed and more poor, therefore, the expensive poverty. So until we have a leader that is accountable to the people, until the leadership is transparent and answerable to the people, until the leadership that we have is indeed a servant leadership, our oil can wait. What do you call a leader in, in Angola? Any uh, government. Uh, this, mm. you see? Yeah, what do you call a uh, part fiction or part of the world? It's a pro it's Ukrainians are our brothers too. Uh, back then they were all Soviets, you know, which is not anymore. They got their independence, which I support them to maintain. Uh, the same way I support South Sudan to maintain its independence, the same way I support Somaliland and any other place to have, to determine its own destiny, I support Ukraine to maintain its independence. Um, Gilead is a wonderful, wonderful book. Gilead by Mary Robinson. Gilead, it's about um, quite yeah. charming. Eh? Whatever you do, yeah. there, really, really. Yeah. For the Ukrainians to stand up against Russians to defend their territorial integrity, to defend their independence and their freedom and their right to self determination, it was inspiring. Well, I'll, I'll look out for it. Called a rare book, very rare. I can, I can show you maybe you can take ones that have been, uh, you know, found out by our human rights team are more than 300 that are in illegal detention, both prison and military prison. The missing ones are 64. Those are the ones that are whose families have reached out to us and we are demanding with them. Among those are names that were read by General Museveni during the COVID pandemic, confirming that they are holding them. Among those are names that were read out by the uh, former Internal Affairs Minister, uh, Jejo Dong, confirming that they have them. Unfortunately, besides Museveni mentioning them and uh, Honorable Jejo Dong mentioning them, nobody has seen them before. Uh, their loved ones have gone to all prisons, all police stations, to no avail. So it is a wide number.